All right, everybody, this is Scarlet Part 2. I missed something very important. That's what I get for doing these Bible studies late in the morning when I'm real tired. So, Isaiah chapter 1. This is going to be Part 2 of Scarlet. Verse 16. All right, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 16. Wash you, make you clean. Isn't that what uh, baptism was symbolic of in the New Testament? Oh, yeah. Wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil. Learn to do well. Seek judgment. Relieve the oppressed. Judge the fatherless. Plead for the widow. Come now, and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, deep red, right? Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. And if you're talking to a black Hebrew, they, oh, that means woolly, woolly, woolly hair. Uh, yeah, white as snow means woolly hair. Yeah, right. Boy, I tell you, I don't know where they get this stuff from. Well, I do. Uh, when Jesus cast out the uh, devils out of the men in the tombs and they uh, went into all the pigs, well, the pigs killed themselves, so those devils had to go somewhere, right? Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as wool. I'm, not, I'm sorry, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. How is the faithful city become an harlot? It was full of judgment, righteousness lodged in it, but now murderers. Oh, yeah. I could keep going here, but uh, you get the idea. So, what color is blood? Red, right? So it was talking about, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow, and though they, the sins, and though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Where else do we find this language? Revelation. Now remember in Isaiah, we were it talked about, uh, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Uh, is there a parallel verse in the New Testament? Oh, yeah. Revelation chapter 7, verse 12. Saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? So, you know, who are these dressed in white robes, and where do they come from? Verse 14, And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said unto me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white, washed their robes, and made them white, in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in his temple, and he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. So, what did we read in Isaiah? Though your sins shall be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Oh, yeah. I uh, hope you get the idea here. Revelation 19.8, 
And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. All right. So, scarlet. What color was the blood of Christ? Red. What color scarlet? Red. So, isn't it amazing? I just thought. What color is the American flag? Red. Could it be the blood of Jesus? And then white. Righteousness from the blood of Jesus. And then blue. What was blue? Blue was the, uh, the law. There might have been a time when America actually stood for all that, but uh, that was a long, long, long time ago. All right, so this is the end of part two of Scarlet. All glory to Jesus. Amen.